Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about Ethernet. Ethernet is the most widely used LAN technology. Ethernet is a technology that is most commonly used in LANs. The full form of LAN is local area network. And what is the LAN? This local area network is we have already studied in previous tutorials also. Uh, actually, the LAN is a computer network that is uh, designed for a limited geographic area such as a building or a campus. The original Ethernet was uh, created in 1976 and uh, since then it has gone through four generations. Standard Ethernet, Fast Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet, 10 Gigabit Ethernet. Now what happens uh, in this tutorial we will study only about Standard Ethernet. right? Now what happens in a, a Standard uh, Ethernet? In a Standard Ethernet max sub layer this max sub layer governs the operation of the access method right in a standard ethernet max sub layer governs the operation of the access method and uh, this max sub layer uh, it also frames the data which it receives from uh, upper layer and uh, passes them to the physical layer now uh, we will see the frame format uh, in ethernet uh, the ethernet frame contains seven fields right and uh, Ethernet does not provide any mechanism for acknowledging received frames. So acknowledgements uh, must be implemented at the higher layers. Now uh, see here that uh, Ethernet frame, uh, the Ethernet frame contains seven fields and uh, we will study about uh, these fields one by one. Right. So first of all see the preamble. Right. Uh, this is the first field of the Ethernet frame. Right and it contains uh, seven bytes of alternating zeros and ones and uh, this uh, preamble it alerts the receiving system to the coming frame and enables it to synchronize its input timing right so what happens uh, this uh, field preamble it contains seven bytes of alternating zeros and ones uh, which alerts the receiving system to the coming frame and uh, enables it to synchronize its input timing uh, the preamble is actually added at the physical layer and formally it is not a part of the frame. Now the next uh, field of uh, this Ethernet frame is a start frame delimiter in short SFD. Right? Uh, this uh, SFD it is of one byte 10101011. So what happens uh, this uh, SFD it is of one byte and it signals the beginning of the frame. This uh, SFD wants the station or stations that this is the last chance for synchronization. Now, the third field is destination address, right? Uh, this uh, destination address, it is of six bytes and it contains the physical address of the destination station or stations to receive the packet, right? Uh, now see this uh, field destination address uh, this field it is of six bytes and it contains the physical address of the destination station or stations to receive the packet next field is source address this field is also of six bytes right and it contains the physical address of the sender of the packet now the next field is length or type as you can see here in this figure uh, this uh, next field is length or type right now the next field is length or type right so what happens uh, this field is defined as type field or length field the original ethernet used this field as the type field to define the upper layer protocol using the mac frame the ieee standard used it as the length field to define the number of bytes in the data field right the next field is data right uh, what happens in this field this field carries uh, data encapsulated from the upper layer protocol right it is a minimum of uh, 46 byte and maximum of 1500 bytes right uh, what happens in this field this field carries data encapsulated from the upper layer protocol and it is a minimum of 46 bytes and maximum of 1500 bytes right the next field is 
CRC, right? This field contains error detection information and this field is of 4 bytes, right? This field contains error detection information and as you can see here in this figure, this field, CRC field is of 4 bytes. Now see what happens uh, an uh, Ethernet frame needs to have a minimum of 64 bytes in which 18 bytes are of header and trailer therefore the minimum length of data from upper layer is uh, 46 bytes right so what happens uh, if the upper layer packet is less than of 46 bytes then padding is added to make up the difference right now what happens in Ethernet in Ethernet, what happens? Each station on the Ethernet network has its own network interface card, right? Network interface card, in short, can be written as NIC, right? So what happens with this network interface card, that is NIC, it provides a six byte physical address to the station, right? So what happens with the Ethernet address is of six bytes, right? Now, what happens? Uh, if the least significant bit of the first byte in destination address is zero, then the address is unicast, right? So what is the meaning of a unicast destination address? Uh, the unicast destination address defines only one recipient, right? Now what happens if the least significant bit of the first byte in destination address is not zero, right? If it is one then what happens in that case uh, the destination address is multicast right so what happens in multicast destination address uh, the multicast destination address right the multicast destination address defines a group of addresses right and uh, this uh, unicast destination address it defines only one recipient right and multicast destination address defines a group of addresses right now uh, what is this uh, broadcast destination address uh, the broadcast destination address it is a, a special case of the multicast address right so in this uh, broadcast destination address uh, in this the recipients are all the stations of the LAN right so what happens in this broadcast destination address this broadcast destination address is a special case of the multicast address right and in this uh, what happens in this recipients are all the stations of the LAN right so what happens uh, the broadcast destination address uh, what happens in it in it all the bits are ones right uh, the broadcast destination address is a special case of the multicast address in which all bits are ones, right? And uh, what happens with uh, the source address is always unicast address, right? Because the frame comes from only one station, right? So the source address is always unicast address.